Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm going to make another trip of some stuff I've, I'm purging to Goodwill and donate it to charity. Um, not always about reselling it or anything like that. Uh, don't get a receipt, just let it go. Um, so we're going to do that and while we're out doing that, we're going to do our sketch today. It's Friday the 6th, so I need to do my quick 5 minute sketch for day 6. So we're going to find something interesting to sketch and do that and I will try to film it and I'll be back. Can't talk while on the phone while I'm driving. I'll be back. Okay, we've made our donation and now let's go find something to draw. All right, I'll be back. You know, it's too bad that I don't need like fixtures or shelving in my studio room or anywhere in my house I'm trying to get rid of stuff because we had a grocery store and a hardware store close up shop um, near my house and that's also where the Goodwill is and driving back behind the center to make the donation there is a lot of fixtures back here that are just sitting back here that could be gotten for free um, so I don't know I don't um, like my parking space <clears throat> nothing really to see I don't normally leave the house around lunchtime I live in the heart of Silicon Valley and I live surrounded by a bunch of businesses and at lunchtime all of the malls around me, no matter big or small, are totally jammed and crowded at lunchtime with workers. Traffic is bad, parking is bad, it's bad, bad, bad all around. It's a little too close to the restaurant. I'm going to park a little closer to Goodwill and see if I can find something more interesting to draw. Let's see, shall we? Okay. I think this will work. Let's draw. out of Goodwill without buying anything that's an accomplishment for me for me that's like getting in and out of the art supply store or Hobby Lobby without buying anything which I still haven't managed to do Goodwill's easier all right I'm gonna go home and we will share the picture that I drew and uh, so you guys can get a better look and we'll kind of chat a little bit maybe do a little bit of a vlog it's been a couple weeks I think since I did one so I'll be back. Okay, hey guys. So I know you're going to notice a difference uh, no matter how slight it may be, I, but I think it might be a significant difference in 
picture quality between right now and the previous footage driving in my car because I was using my cell phone. And although this iPhone 6 has a good camera, it's not as good as this HD camera. So just FYI, um, don't give me a thumbs down. It's just, you know, it's hard to take your video camera out on the road. It's easier to just take your cell phone. Okay. That being said, here's my little travel sketch bag and here is my book. We went out and, like I said, and we were parked around the front of Goodwill today. And I was just sitting outside of O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And I did a little sketch of their front door, which was open, and there were people going in and out. So I sketched in a little person. And I titled it Donation because that, you know, it was after I had done the Goodwill donation. And I think, I think it turned out pretty cute. So here are my sketches um, from day one. I did correct the spelling and the date. None of you pointed out the mistake in the date. Everybody noticed the misspelling in the coffee. I didn't notice either one until like the next day. <laughs> but I fixed it. Day three. My favorite place in the house besides my studio room, the sofa with my devices. <laughs> my husband's always leaving his glasses and things out all over the house, but if I put them away, he can never find them. Yesterday's snack, sitting on top of my Kindle, and then today. So this is a lot of fun. I'm going to keep this up. Tomorrow we will do day seven, and that is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I take this with me everywhere. I do have this little phone holder. Um, it looks like this. I got this at Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. Um, it has basically this base with a ball on it, and then this piece which has a spring in it which fits on your iPhone and it will fit on a slightly bigger phone if you have if you take the spring out I sent one to a friend and she has a little bit bigger phone than me a different model and her husband took the spring out and it works fine so I have a couple of these because they were a dollar fifty I have one I'm going to keep in this bag and then I have another one that's actually hanging on the shelf next to my video camera and it's hanging this way off of the shelf and it's clipped to the shelf here and the, the phone sits in here flat and then it points down at my table. That's how I do the Periscope broadcasts, FYI. Low tech. <laughs> A couple of binder clips and, and this little $1.50 thing. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys, I found this set of mini colored pencils in the kids art department at Hobby Lobby. They were, I think, $4 for the set of, I think, 50 colors by Craze Art. And they're just mini short, like three inch pencils, three and a half inch pencils. They're perfect for this kind of thing. You don't need the best art supplies on the planet. You just want something small. And when I want to add a little bit of color to one of my sketches, I have a few colored pencils that works just fine. I need nothing else any more complicated than that. Than that. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. I hope you are too. We are getting some um, thumb da thumbs down on almost every single Periscope um, video including the ones that say recorded live from Periscope or the ones that I've forgotten to do that and that just say um, hashtag pass the brush or something like that. Um, so that's interesting. It's probably because of the video quality is not horrible, but it's not like the HD camera at all. And um, I can't get as close as I can with the HD camera. Um, it's always going to be uh, farther away than you guys would like. It won't ever fill up the full screen, I should say. Um, so anyway, and I have my Delusions Journal out here because I'm trying to catch up on Lifebook. Um, if you don't know what Lifebook is, it's a year-long art journaling course. Go to willowing, I think willowing.com? No, willowing.ning.com? Just Google Lifebook, one word, Lifebook 2016, because they're having signups for 2016. What else? What else? What else? I think that's it right now. I'm doing pretty good catching up with Lifebook. I'm finished with all my filming for Claudia Rossi's journaling program um, that I help um, teach at, which is Journaling Crazy Island Style over at Crazy Island University. So I finished all of 2015. It's filmed. It's edited. It's photographed. It's downloaded where it needs to be. So it's done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and I can concentrate on th things like this. I think that's it right now. I don't have a lot. I do have some things I, I'm going to be working on, including, um, oh, I have to do a Monday with Deco Art today. I have a lot of 
my videos right now are going to be geared towards things that you could do for people for gift giving for the holidays. Um, so look forward to that, including Monday's um, Monday with Deco Art. Um, we did a couple already. I did this on Pass the Brush, where we did it inspired by Bob Ross. And then I did another Monday with Deco Art um, live, but both of the recordings from these are on YouTube. And we did this little sunflower painting. These little 4x4 canvases are great for gifts. I have to go get some more. I haven't done that yet. I think that's it. I had a lot of fun um, not only doing the donations, which is always, you know, makes you feel good, but um, doing the sketches is a lot of fun too. So, all my ways to contact me are in the description below, including my P.O. box. So, if you want to send me stuff, you want to email me, all the ways to do that are in the description below, along with links to my Etsy shop and my Facebook group. Crazy Island University, and anything else you might need to know, it's in the description below, so check it out. Leave a comment, question, or concern if you want, and I will make sure to get back to you, as I usually do. And uh, don't forget to have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.